what's the liability for Uber at this point, um, especially given that SoftBank has just committed, uh, though there's still a negotiation and dance uh, taking place uh, to invest in this company? It's uh, surprising, but it's also not surprising given that it's Uber. The liabilities right now going forward, there are two main sets of liabilities. There's a federal liability with the FTC. They've been probing Uber in terms of previous hacks and previous sort of bad practices with uh, you know, drivers and, and riders. So there's a liability there over the fact that Uber hid this. So that's something that the FTC could take a deeper look at. On top of that, on a state level, you know, the New York, New York State Attorney General is uh, probing Uber hack on this as well. And it's possible our sources say that other states like California, Connecticut could also look into this, not just into the hack, but the fact that Uber hid it. But so what are we uh, talking about? Is, is there a criminality here in terms of the hot, or is this a civil be, issue? What are we talking about? Well, so let's to be very clear. There could be criminality over hiding it after the fact that the FTC and other state agencies have told Uber don't delete anything, right? Okay. This is a clear example right. of violating that. If, if it comes to that, if they determine, and, well, we told right. you not to hide stuff and you hid it, that could be criminal. And explain this, and Becky had a, a brilliant point uh, about an hour ago when we were talking about this. How is it possible that you go, these are, this $100,000 ransom fee effectively was paid to the hackers that did this? How, do we, how would you even know that they would actually delete what they say they're deleting? Yeah, it's, it's sort of this sort of common, unfortunately, this common practice among hackers. Part of it's called ransomware, where they lock up or seize up your data. Uh, and in order to, you know, to release it, pay us money. In this case, it's slightly different. It's that they actually took the data off servers. Uh, and, you know, right, it so seems why would like you trust them? Why would you possibly think, OK, here's one hundred thousand dollars. We'll erase it all. Don't worry about it. Well, <laughs> no, there's there's actually very little re good reason to trust them. I think in this particular case, uh, some of our sisters are telling us that it seems like Uber actually tracked down who the hackers were and, you know, had them sign non-disclosure agreements um, or something <laughs> to that effect. It was, they yeah, tracked it's, them it's down and signed non-disclosure yeah. agreements rather than just bring charges against them? Well, there you go, right? That why, <laughs> why in the world they would take that action as opposed to prosecuting them the way that uh, and, and, in, in a normal but, scenario. But, but Ed, Ed, and we got to run, but just to, just to put a fine point on it, how much of the idea of keeping this secret do you think had to deal with all the commotion going on with regulators in some sense that they wanted to keep it hidden from them? How much was it about keeping it hidden from investors and the board at that time? Well, I, I, I mean, I, I can't speak to, you know, what's in the head of the security guy, this guy Joe Sullivan, who they, they fired, as well as uh, Travis, who seemed to have looked it over. I think it's just part and parcel of sort of the Silicon Valley mentality, largely, of just like, well, we know what's best. We know how to deal with this. This are is you, not that big of a deal kind a, of a are, thing. Are, are you painting a broad brush across the valley to think this way, or do you think that this is a, a Uber culture issue? I think it is very specifically an Uber culture issue, but I do think, you know, that mentality does pervade the valley altogether. I'm not saying all these other companies do some similar things. I just think that they tend to operate by their own rules generally. Right. They, that's the problem with a lot of, you know, right. just this sort of entrepreneurial kind of, you know, bucketeering spirit out right. there. That it, it, it can turn bad in this way. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.